This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It is an honor to have you here. You're looking at a Red Ryder BB gun. A modern version of it. The old one that I had long since died. Back then that old BB gun it didn't even have a safety on them back then. If you had it cocked it was ready to fire. There was no safety of anything like that. When my father handed it to me he said his hunter's safety was don't shoot the windows in the house. Don't shoot the windows. That was it. That was, the rest of it I had to learn on my own, and I did. When I thought it would be fun to shoot a steel post and watch that BB come right back at me high speed, I said maybe I shouldn't do that because I sure had no safety glasses on. And I shot thousands of rounds, thousands, and I never had any eye protection whatsoever. But I got good with it. I said I got good. And what I would do when you shoot with this at 300 feet per second, a lot closer to 250 I bet, you could see the BB tracking out. You'd see it tracking out and you'd see gravity working on it, pulling it down. You could see that. And so if you were shooting at something and the BB went below that target or the bird I was shooting at, quite often I shot sparrows, and when I would shoot and it would go below the bird, I would simply raise the sights up and shoot above the bird so that the BB would fall down into the line and hit the bird. Gravity would pull it in to where I wanted it to go then. Now I did that by adjusting you know the elevation and it worked quite well. Wind, when the wind was blowing one given direction or the other, for example if it was blowing this way and you shot the BB would track not only down but it would also track off to the side the wind could push that BB. And so you then learn that you have to shoot into the wind ever so slightly off to the side of your given target so it not only tracked down and towards your target but also that the, it would, the wind would push it to where it needed to be. You bet. And it worked well. Windage and elevation. And I've used that throughout my life with great success in my shooting skills over my lifetime. Absolutely. And it started with a BB gun. But nowadays, nowadays you have to be so much more careful. They uh, had a kid kicked out of school because he drew a picture of a gun. Another kid was kicked out of school because he used his finger like a gun and was acting like he was shooting uh, a gun, an imaginary gun, with the shape of his fingers. Yeah kicked out of school. And so with that in mind, and add fuel to the fire, almost every community, and hopefully not your neighbors, but almost every community, there's Karens out there that would be more than glad to call the cops on you for the drop of a hat. And so you have to keep that in mind. At the same time, I would like you to consider teaching your children, grandchildren, if you will, also are included, uh, teach them windage and elevation. Those two products in their mind for the rest of their lives can be very useful in numerous reasons besides shooting as far as that goes. Windage and elevation. And so the product I bought my granddaughter, she's four years old, and wanted to begin to teach her a little bit of that. And looking through the different internet sites, I did find something on Amazon that I liked. And it was a catapult, a toy catapult. About a $20 bill. Okay. And so I bought and had that sent to them. They live on the East Coast. And they seem to enjoy it. And what it does is it throws the ball out there quite a ways. A little rubber ball out. And you can see gravity working on it. And if they were outside they were shooting it inside. But if it was outside the wind was blowing it, you'd also have to adjust for the wind. Windage and elevation. There you go. And that's what it would teach. It shot about 30 feet, so it, it got a little bit of power. And it's easy for a four-year-old to use. Very simplistic. And hopefully she won't get tired of it too quickly or pick it up now and then and play with it. But the idea is in the back of her mind, though, she has comprehended what elevation and windage is all about. And the ability to take something, be it mechanical or even what you throw, and understand elevation and windage. Here's some of what she did. Whee! 
Okay, do one more for Grandpa so we can see how well it works. Three, two, one, blast 